This is the city. Phoenix, Arizona. Shrouded by... Shrouded by... I was gonna say shrouded by trees, clouds, rain. We are in downtown Phoenix, Arizona, the Phoenix Convention Center. We go to the Phoenix Auto Show. Phoenix, everything. <laughs> There's Phoenix Suns. Len thinks we can push down a Palo Verde tree. And then it like starts falling over and then we get fined by the city. I felt they moved though. Ah, the Colorado looks nice though. Look how high it looks. It looks higher than that two-door Rubicon. I, I like the Rebel better. It's way more of a truck and it's not a whole lot more money either. Colorado is more nimble, but if I need to go on those kinds of trails, I just take my Jeep. Push it into traffic. <laughs> This one's thinner. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh yeah, right this there. is the one. <laughs> Look, they even got it sealed up, like some for some reason. Oh, you could. I told you. Probably got one at one point. Info, so they can email you and put you on all these lists and yeah, stupid things. Yeah. Nobody's. It's a hundred bucks. Like really? Camp Jeep. That's where I'm head. Lan, I don't see Tesla. Well, that's What the heck? <laughs> the Arizona International Auto Show. No, your enemy. Enemy is this guy. Just kidding. <laughs> you put too much weight on one of the, one of the steps to climb something second. One of them goes down, they'll all go down. And everybody will be sliding down. What is that over there? Lamborghini. Lamborghini? There's a Ferrari at the Big Willow when I went there last week. Oh, that was actually racing? Probably. It was in a different home group, but it was, it was nice hearing. It was a 360 model. It was nice hearing Ferrari. <laughs> Tickets, this way. <laughs> so, it's still performance pack. I miss my Mustang. I miss my monster. <laughs> oh, never mind. She's not as pretty anymore. Oh! No, this is the 500. It is, but it's the it's the one without the track package. This is like seventy thousand versus a hundred thousand. But still, move this man. Can I get in it? Ah, boo. Just kidding. And that's Boo too. The shifter. Boo! Dad, GT500. But it's without the track, the carbon fiber track package adds 20,000 to it. So this one's only about 70 something. Yeah. Start it up. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, it needs the, needs the skinny pedal on the left. <laughs> still nice. I mean, it's still a Mustang, but yeah. Still got a 5.0 with 465 horsepower. 460. Hmm? 460. Okay, 460 horsepower. My bad. A five horsepower off. And it has this stupid thing. Rip! Rip it off! It's like it's not done. Like this is the paper fold out, and they have to like crease it and put it on there, like to look like the old one. I don't know why they put that UFO on top. To make it look nice. I am going to get another five. I am going to get another one of these one day. Just just coyote swap the bullet. <laughs> coyote swap it. No, I leave that bullet way it is. That's a good thing. It's a though, so it's not like it's super. It was a fender bender. It's not like the whole front has been replaced. It's all destroyed. It's missing like this little thing here. That's it. And an inner fender liner. Modified. It's, it's, it's been tainted. <laughs> what is been, going on? It's been tainted. He started talking about my bullet. Oh. Talking about his He's like, just put a, this engine in the Mustang bullet. It's not that. even... <laughs> in my wrecked Mustang. God. The bullet was wrecked. <laughs> ah. 
Oh, look, there's Camp Jeep. You can drive a Jeep up on a uh, thingy me bob. That's why I'm just like, since it's been tainted, tend to modify it. I'm leaving it how it is. It is awesome. I might put a cold, um, a, it already has a cold air intake. You know, I'm gonna change the exhaust out, I think. Well, then see, you get to modify it. Modify. <laughs> so, well, it's the classic 4.6. He, he doesn't have the X2, right now, the X2 15 <laughs> grand for, for picking one of these. Uh, 15 grand, the car costs less than that. <laughs> the engine would be more than the car itself. There's a lot of vehicles out there. Okay, here we got the Ford EcoSport. 2019 front wheel drive, 1.0 liter EcoBoost. Six speed auto trans. Check this out here. It's uh, pretty roomy for such a small vehicle. This one's equipped well. Leather seats, touch screen. Um, pretty digging it pretty well. Look. Got your Ford Sync 3. This one has a sunroof. It's called the Titanic. It's, uh, let's see Len get in here real quick. All right, here. Oh, but the seat's put all the way back. No wonder it had so much room up front. Where's the thing? Yeah, you need to scoot it forward. Oh, is it, is a, it power? Oh, it, it is, is power. power. Dang. This one's probably like 20 something grand. 27? I think this is the top of the line model. Yeah, yeah, it is. You could get it far less, probably. The base, uh, the base price is 26. Oh. <laughs> You're like, never mind. <laughs> it's a 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine. One liter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I know that engine. Like all plastic mini coopers, and they'll stick this one liter EcoBoost turbo engine. Really? In there. Huh. Right, let's see this swinging tailgate again. Why don't you demonstrate it for us? Hello, Phoenix. Thank you so much for joining us oh, yeah. here at Ford. At first, you don't know where you think it'd be here, but there's nothing in here. So you're like, well, how do we do it? Well, we go over here. We're also proud of the transportation system. Ta da! And then you crawl in. As you can see, it can fit one whole Preston <laughs> with cameras and everything. Or be one whole, one not so ordinary car guy. One, <laughs> just one. Just kidding. Ah, oh, there's more under there. But wait, there's more. If you order in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> if you order in the next 30. Oh yeah, it has a spare yeah, tire. That's all they're doing now. Is they're putting those things in there. It saves wait. weight. Oh yeah, if I got this, I would try to get from the Philippines the, the spare tire that comes on. Yeah. Okay, where we lost our peoples. There would be a, a tire like right here. Mm -hmm. Rare Jackson. Wow, that's pretty roomy. But watch this. You can. Now, folks, have you heard of the Mach E yet? Wait a Idiot! Oh, wait, no. Ugh, what the heck? Oh, oh that's for that. No, like, here, hold, hold this. Hold this. It's gonna get 300 miles just on electric charge. It's an SUV that is completely electric. We're gonna, like, destroy the car. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> let's just walk on. What the heck? Oh, wait, wait, there's, like, a little diagram on it. This is... I know what you're saying. It's what there you go. There you go. Click on the box you'll be able to see Idiot. four different oh. What'd you do? Did you hit it right yeah. there? <laughs> Idiot! Oh alright Ford. You just injured our uh, the not so car ordinary car guys. The, uh, you need to do something about this because people get injured, they might uh, bruise themselves. Yes. <laughs> oh that really hurt. 
my hand, it really hurts. Just kidding. Then he can, then he can slam his foot down. Ah! And then, and then we keep injuring you. Ah! All right, bye, bye, Len. See you later. Thank you. Oh. Well, yeah, this would be a pretty nice travel vehicle. Oh yeah. That's an ordinary car guy trunk test. Of the Chevy Bolt. Of the Chevy Bolt. Okay. As you can see, it can no, fit. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> As you can see, it can hold Exactly one not so ordinary. Well, maybe like one and a half not so ordinary car. Guys. But not very easy to get out though. This lip is pretty high. That makes it a little more difficult when you're trying to climb out of your your uh, hatch. Oh, but there's more. They always do that now. They put like an extra cargo area. Oh, that that. Where did you get this from? It was right on the bottom. Oh, so you can put it just like the old PT cruisers. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at an exotic car outside. Like the ones out they always have out there. I mean they kind of actually making me want a JL or a Gladiator. Nah, I wish I could bring my TJ here. It'd be a little more clankety clankety, but it would do any of this way easier. Articulation. We're at the Jeep Pavilion, the Phoenix International Auto Show. It makes me kind of want a JL or a Gladiator. Ridiculous noise. Yeah. <laughs> this right here, this is the articulation part of the turret. Squish it 
Yeah. See, I wish I'd like to have this on it. It's been a while since Len's been off-roading, huh? <laughs> you need to come out. <laughs> I wanted to tow the Jeep out here, but that would have been such a... <laughs> nice! Thank you, sir. <laughs> Not Not So Ordinary Off-Road Channel. Welcome back, guys. What do you think? <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> That's, <it. laughs> That's how you react even after a whole day at track. So. Okay, this is the not so ordinary Porsche back seat test. Insane room. Yeah, it's because the, the seats, seats are, are all the way up. up. Yeah. yeah, but still. You can't no, they're like even all if, the way up. Even if it was right here. That'd still be a pretty good room for a sports coupe, yeah. sports, sports sedan, with the panoramic with a panoramic roof. Can we open the hatch on this? We can do the. R R R spec R R R. Oh, here's the. Oh, that's spoiler. Oh, you like bring up a That's five thousand dollars. Oh, this one has the spoiler up. This one's red. This is my baby. <laughs> Sitting there all alone. Okay, hold on. Seat of the Porsche Cayenne. AKA Jessica's Porsche. AKA, yep, Jessica's Porsche. Although she liked the Panamera too. Pretty nice. Plenty of headroom. You can fit a GoPro. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> I wonder if people slam their fingers indoors in these car shows very much. Oh, like I did like I did with the Mustang that time. Ooh, mini. Oh, look at this mini new mini countryman. Oh, there's a new mini club then. I think we got Oh yeah, you should get a video of, of us opening this. Oh <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's just locked. <laughs> Maybe it's just locked. Oh, oh, look so at this. They have a lum leg lumbar. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, nice. Well, look, see, they got rid of the. Uh, they have a circle, uh, but it doesn't have the gauge. Uh, no gauge anymore. Getting with the modern times. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no. This is the mini countryman. Mini countryman backseat test. All right. Look, look at this. Like chocolate. Color. How much room you guys got up there? Tight. Oh, they had they do that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's like chocolate covered seat, leather. It's like leather. Cat. It's nice though. And I would, I will drive. All right, you got this uh, Cadillac. Which one is it? Doesn't say. CTSV probably. Yeah. Turbocharged, four cylinder. Oh, that's you. What's this world coming to? It's a world with nothing but turbos and uh, with synthetic power. <laughs> he's trying to control it, but he's really pissed. At <laughs> synthetic turbo power. <laughs> All right, we got the 2019 Golf Volkswagen R. Golf R. Not so ordinary cargo test. Probably one and a half, yeah, one and a half, uh, not so ordinary, <laughs> not so ordinary uh, Lincoln Continental. Let's check out this seat here. Look at this fine, fine seat. It's actually kind of separated to give you more, uh, I don't know, something to do with the comfort. You get separate. I heard you. Okay. Whoa, why is this up so high? Upright. I think the power is off. These are all your controls. Whoa! Check that out. The controls for the seat are right here. And it's not working. It's not working? Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Oh, um, yeah, you should like test out all the different ways. 
There we go. They're going to discontinue this car though. Pretty nice. Your, your uh, controls for your seat are on the door. Never seen that before. So. Look at those uh, like wood or whatever that is. Yeah, it's like a faux wood maybe, but it, it looks nice. Look at this speaker, like that metal thing right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very nice. The Revel Ultima system. Yeah, this is very supportive. I could, I could run. Oh, I see what this does. It gives you a little bit more push in the back, but supports you. Very nice. Control in there in the center. Dang, look at that. Yeah, sit in that seat. That seat looks comfy. Look, you even have like those same controls right there. Oh, this was really easy to get into. Oh, is it moving? No. Is it turned off or something? Maybe. Yeah, it's not. Or maybe it has to be closed. Oh, this is nice. I have got so much room back here. Do you really? <laughs> did, did you see that? It was adjusting the front. Oh, it's adjusting the front. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. weird. Why would they make the back one adjust the front? I think That's... it's if you want more foot room and there's like nobody. It's like if you're being chauffeured. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm like, move up there. <laughs> Yeah, Scoot up, would you? Oh wow, this is so comfortable. I'm like adjusting your. <laughs> I'm like, you need you need less room up there. Let me move you forward. <laughs> you can't get out now. It's so stable. Look at all this room I have. <laughs> yeah, everything on this surfaces. This is what they're talking about when they say like American cars have cheap plastic surfaces because they're comparing it to this, like top of the line. So All right, you buy it, Len. <laughs> I'll wait for the value to drop. <laughs> okay, Jessica, this is what we need. This is what we need when we take the entire family everywhere. The 12 passenger Sprinter. This is what we rode in at the Ford RS Academy. Oh. They, they took us out on the track in these, like to tour the. Uh, but you probably didn't go in the Sprinter. Sprinter. It would be Ford Transit. Well, yeah. You don't even need the hunch over pressing. No, I know, that's great, I love oh, it. Except for this part here. But... Nah. <laughs> Look, it's just crazy. Oh, it's really crazy. <laughs> well, it's almost uh, like the ones, uh, uh, the one that uh, we had at the hotel. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we should get one of these. <laughs> for the, let's all put all our money together and buy this for like the family. <laughs> It'll be like the family vehicle. The, like, the entire yeah. family. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where are we going, Kevin? Let's see. We got 500. Hey, Bart. I don't think there's anything underneath there. Not so ordinary car guy. This one's gonna hurt. Oh, I can't even get in here. Oh, here we go. It holds 0.95. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck! 0.85, not so ordinary car guys. <laughs> 